Good morning, guys. We got one here for you today. We got a little RS. So I know you guys like the RS action. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what's done to it? So it's got a 257-205 hybrid in it, uh, just forged internals. Uh, it's got an FP71 HTA, 1050X injectors, TGB deletes. Uh, it's got Tome unequal length header and uppipe. Uh, nice. Making a recent downpipe and then eBay cap back. I really like all the color you got going on yeah. under the hood. All the piping matches the paint. I love it. Thank you. That's cool. All right, well, we're going to get this thing strapped down the dyno. And this turbo is pretty cool. These HTA 71s make really good power, so I'm excited for this one. So let's get on the dyno, get strapped down, and get started. All right, we got the thing strapped down on the dyno and we're getting ready to go. We just did a little pre-check on everything, just looking over stuff. Everything looks pretty clean on this car. Um, got new injectors and everything in here, so we're gonna be retuning this. We're gonna do this one on Carberry today. Um, that's what the customer requested, so we're gonna do that. And so I'll show you guys, um, I'll record a little bit of the laptop stuff for you guys and show you some Carberry stuff, uh, which you probably will enjoy, um, but yeah. Good turbo setup should make really good power it's basically a hybrid 2.5 with uh two liter heads on it so should be a torque monster should get a lot of torque out of it it should spool really fast um i bet you i, I anticipate it making probably in the 330 range maybe more we'll see and hopefully everything goes smooth so let's get started
<laughs> yes. Okay. Um, so we have an issue. We're not hitting 100% throttle. We're getting like 71%. So you said you had carpet that might be too thick. Yeah, they double layered, and I put sound deafening on top. All right, of you want to go ahead and try to see yeah. if you can correct that, or we can look at the throttle cable real quick. Yeah. Okay. There's a little bit of room for improvement. Not much. It's pretty good. It's not too bad. But target boost so I was trying to figure out why targeting about 20 pounds only hitting 16 pounds and uh, the TPS was only going to like 3.2 volts which is like 71% so we're definitely not getting our full 100% throttle so hopefully you can figure that out real quick and then we can uh, continue on fuel curve how it's just going straight up to the right. Yeah. I literally added like 20 plus percent to the VE table and it didn't really help much. It's okay. still doing the same thing. Injector duty cycle is already over 80%. These injectors should not be at 80% right. at that little amount of power. Right. Right. So the, that tells me there's nothing behind them. Okay. Um, the intake air temperature sensor wasn't scaled properly so it was throwing all the intake readings off so I fixed that and thought that might have been it. but. Okay it made it a little better but there's still no fuel behind it so okay. unfortunately you need a new fuel pump okay do you know what pumps in it um it's uh whatever deutschworks makes for their 255 variant yeah so um the older dw 65 c's yeah. they're very problematic okay we've had a lot of issues in the past i highly recommend either going to a brand new walbro 255 okay. or an aem 340 those work really good okay and that's a both of them. I know the wall are dropping. Yeah, because I actually had a wall on this thing a long time ago. Yeah, do an AEM 340 because those things flow enough fuel to make upwards of about 420 on E85. Okay. That'll be more than enough to support these injectors. But, okay. Um, the other thing I would do too is since it is an older vehicle with higher mileage, mm -hmm. the fuel pump controllers are known to be get weak over time. So when you put a bigger pump on them, it stresses them out more and they just start to get weak. That could also be what's going on. But um, having a 65C in there, I would get that out. Okay. Those are known to be issues. But I would, if it was my car, I would do an AEM 340 brand new. Okay. And then I would bypass the fuel pump controller and put it on a relay. Okay. Hardwire it basically. Okay. That would get you, fuel system would have no issues anymore. Okay. So not a just, fuel pressure regulator or anything because I was worried yeah. about that on this. Okay. You don't need a regulator where you're at. You're okay. not you're not on the 85 pushing the limits of your fuel system or anything okay. like that. Um, the uh, the stock regulators is more than enough. But if you hardwire it, make sure you trigger it so the relay only comes on with the key on. Okay. That's, Ignition power basically. Yep. Okay. And uh, make sure that it gets its power directly from the battery positive for the relay to supply the pump and then ground it to the chassis in the back. Okay. 
it's really easy because there's right where the seat is. I mean, this is a swamp, so yeah. usually what I do is underneath the back seat, there's a harness that comes out of the fuel pump, comes up through the floor and has a connector. Yes, yep. Yeah, yeah I had to tee into that for the fuel pump control for the eye wire harness. Okay, yeah. you can tap in there if you need to. You don't have to go all the way to the pump. Okay, so this has the fuel pump controller and the kicker pan on the side because okay. the eye wire harness, and it's got one wire going back to that where I teed off into that and connector. It's a so I would, just, I would just bypass yeah. Get rid of the controller. And so I... what you could do is you could just leave the controller there. Okay. You don't have to mess with it. I mean, okay. you could take it out of your car if you want, but right. um, literally just interrupt the power and ground going to the pump out of it. Okay. That's all you have to do and go from there. Okay. So, and then uh, you'll throw a code for a fuel pump circuit, but I'll take care of that when you come back and okay. we can retune it. But yeah, for now, I, I don't have any fuel. I can't do it. That's understandable. Really okay. It. I cleaned up the, the fuel tables, the startup, the idle. I cleaned up all that stuff, so it should be better for you. But um, yeah, we need more fuel to get okay. safe power. So how do we? Uh, how would I do that? I'd pay the 500 now or whatever for that? And then... um, so yeah. All right, well, we're gonna end the video on this one. Uh, I've cut a little short because we ran out of fuel. So everybody that watches knows every once in a while we get fuel problems around here. It's kind of the name of the game. If you don't have fuel, you can't make power. But you can see here, air fuel ratio is just taking off on me. I can't get it under control. So fuel pump needs to be replaced and uh, hardwired in my opinion. So I, I let him know everything he needs to do, but we still did 310 and that wasn't even a full pull. So she has a lot of potential. She's gonna make some good power once we get fuel behind it. So um, I'll do a part two to this video. So we're gonna end this one here and then stay tuned for part two when we come back with a new fuel pump another time.